So hotkeys and the Canvas system. And then uh, one quick tip, if you have to reset your brushes. If your brushes just are not behaving well, open up the brush palette, go all the way down to reset all brushes, and there you go. That'll return everything to the default. It actually looks at them inside of the folder because brushes can be saved. So it looks at the defaults that are stored on the hard drive and, uh, and gets you back into those guys. Okay, let me know if you have any other questions. So hotkeys. First, you have to know that there's a bunch of stuff in preference, and one of them is hotkeys. So you have to first create a hotkey, and then you store it so that you write it to the drive. So how do you create a hotkey? Well, you've got to first expose the interface item that you want to be assigning. So let's say, for example, I want, to assign, I want to work with brushes. What I'll do is I'll go in and I'll just select all the brushes that I'm going to work with. Because maybe, say, I want to adjust clay tubes, but it's not here. And it has to be in this interface. Or to make things easy, it has to be here. So I'm just going to go in, open my brush. I'm going to say, click that guy. And then let's go to slash three. And then let's go to trim dynamic. And let's go to um, inflate. We just selected those. Now you can see my brush palette has inflate, trim, slash, clay tubes. Now to store a hotkey, the first thing you do is you press control and alt. Control, alt and then click. And then you can see up here, it just left because I moved my cursor. But look right up here where it says hotkey note operation canceled. That's where the notes are. So I'm going to press control alt again. I'm going to click. And then I just press the key that I want to assign it to. In this case, I want to assign it to four. Oops, now it's saving. So I have to do that again. Trim dynamic, control, alt, click, press the number four. In this case, it's telling me it's already assigned, and that's because I'm, I'm assigning them to keys I already have. So let's go again. Control, alt, click, inflate, and I'll assign that to uh, the negative sign. All right, and then just keep moving through. Now, once you're done, you have to come to preference and store it. You, you, if, you, if you close ZBrush without doing that, it, they're gone. You have to redo it. It's not a big deal because all you're doing is you just press, um, let's do this one. You're just pressing Control plus Alt. And then click the item and then click the uh, press the key. And that's it. And then store. One insider tip. Let me show you what these look like. So here I'm looking at my Windows folder. I'm going to go to Z Startup, Hotkeys. That's my file. You can transfer that from one computer to another. Just take that file with you. It's a text file. If I open it up, you can see what it contains. Standard brush, smooth, move, M polish, and on from there. Okay. So those are stored in, uh, in how do I say it? There's, oh, sorry. You know what? That's why that was wrong. Give me two seconds because it's different on the PC now. And it's stored in a really difficult place. Uh, Ryan. And...
Uh, okay, let me send that to you guys later. I'll send you exactly where that's being stored so that you can get it. It's a. Uh, I, I always hate going into the Windows. Now that I've been using Mac, the user files are kept differently. <laughs> so Kathleen, I'll be sending you where it is on the Mac too. All right, so hotkey storing is pretty straightforward. And uh, we can go over interface customization later, but I don't want to really get into it now. Use the default so that we're all, so that it's able for you, to, uh, you're able to follow the video. The most important thing is really to set your hotkeys. And what I really recommend is that you set uh, one through two, three, four, five, six. You just set these for brushes. Uh, clay buildup is five. I have this one called insert uh, sphere set to one, and that's because of the um, uh, the maquette process I use. Move is set to two, clay is set to three, and that should be set to trim dynamic, number four, if I've remembered them correctly. <laughs>